Jordan, you talked a bit straight after the draft about you're hoping to come here. Um, what's it like being here and, and what was it about Adelaide that kind of appealed to you? Um, oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, we've settled in quite well already. Um, just being around the club, it's a really good facility and probably over and above what I was expecting, you know. Um, it's been really good and, you know, it's, it's been really good from the start. What was it about Adelaide that sort of from the outside appealed? Um, I think it's a good footy bubble, um, the place. Adelaide as a place, um, and yeah, just it appealed to me because it's a family environment, especially the footy club. They were family orientated from the start, um, very friendly as well. So it's been good. What's it like sitting with the, the guy on your left? Uh, unbelievable. You know, we, we got to know each other through the academy, the national academy, and it's been really good. Um, you know, he gave me a call um, straight after straight after his name was read out, and yeah, it was a good feeling. How how easy is that make the transition? You know, moving to the state. Uh, makes it really easy. I mean, you know, you know that person already um, coming up, moving into a place of the unknown, um, and you know someone, it makes it a lot easier. Obviously, you know, some players want to stay in Victoria and don't want to be away from their families. Uh, what about South Australia has made it, you know, obviously a place you, where you want to play your footy? Well, it's close. Um, it's only a 45 minute plane ride, so if I do get a little bit homesick or I miss a mum and dad, it's easy easy to sort out. So from there, from that perspective, it's, it's been really good. Um, and as I said before, it's it's a good little footy bubble, I think. There's two teams and the supporters are really good, so, yeah. Jordan, for people who haven't seen you play before, can you sort of describe us what sort of player you want? Um, probably, you know, uh, able to play anywhere, uh, forward, mid or back. Um, pacey, pretty clean with the ball and kick all right, so, yeah. Obviously, Is someone you've based your model to gain on? No, not really. I just try and focus on improving myself. Um, you know, watch good footy and you know take little notes, notes and things from different players. But no one in particular um, like to play my own game. Obviously, being the Crows' first pick, there'd be more expectation on you than the other boys. How do, how will you feel you cope with that? It should be fine. I mean, once you get into the footy environment, uh, your pick is only a number. Um, pretty goes out the window pretty quickly. So once you get on the training track, you're just one of the players now. But you feel a need. Obviously, the Crows' midfield hasn't been blessed with massive pace, I guess you can give them that, that dash and carry? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I'm just going to bring to the team whatever they need. Um, whatever I can do, is hopefully it can be a positive to the team. OK, obviously, you know, we talk about the pressure, but that doesn't bother you at all, given the fact there'll be a fair bit on you, because Adelaide does lack that, that dash in the yeah. middle, and you know, yeah. since I've lost danger and stuff like that. Yeah, pressure's fine. Um, you know, once I'm in the footy environment, that's, I've just got to work from there. How do you find learning from someone like Roy Sloan? Oh, I haven't really had much to do with him yet, well, but yeah, to yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna be well, like what sort of things? Obviously, have you watched? You would have watched his games this year, though. Yeah, yeah, I've watched watch him quite closely actually. Um, he's good in at the ball um, around the contest, so just take little bits and pieces. His work around the ground as well is really good. So, are you targeting games this year? Is that your focus? Look, I'll just do whatever I can. If I can break into the side, I'm just gonna do whatever I can for the team. Um, you know, it'd be it'd be great to get a first game in, but you know. If it's, if it's going to help the team out, I'll do it, but yeah. Who did you back for? I was a Collingwood supporter. So who were your heroes growing up? Oh, I always loved Bucks, um, Pendles, watching him, so yeah, it's good. What about what, you, Miles? So who did you support growing up? Uh, early days I was Port Adelaide, um, and then I grew up with Tom Lynch, um, being from both from Sorrento, so I used to be shipped to Gold Coast when he was drafted. Okay. How did you grow up being a Port supporter? Um, well, I suppose early days, you know, they were they were sort of in 2004 was when I really started following football, and um, it was something really simple. Like I just really liked their jumper. Um, there was a big thunderbolt on it, so I thought, you know, that goes all right. So um, followed them for a few years, and then yeah, Tommy was picked up, and I switched ships. So you'd be pretty aware of the rivalry between Port and Adelaide, and yep. now you're on the other side. Is that something you're looking forward to showdowns? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, first things first. I'm gonna you know hit the track with running um, but you know work really hard and hopefully selection takes care of itself but um, yeah if I'm lucky enough to play in a showdown then I'll take it with both hands and hopefully beat them. Do you have a goal of, of how many games you want to play next year? Or? No I think it's just one step at a time at the moment um, just try and work really hard and earn the respect of the playing group first and then um, you know, if I'm in the mix round one then awesome but um, more than happy to uh, go through the sample and do whatever the team needs me to do. So. And good to be in the same team as Jordan clearly. Yeah, obviously it's really nice to have a friendly face um, that you already know, but um, yeah, obviously it's a massive positive and really happy to, to uh, share the journey with him. You had a fair fan club at your house when, when your name was called? <laughs> yeah, no, it was a really good night. I had about probably 10 mates over and then my brother had a few mates over as well. So um, yeah, I'm glad it did happen because if it didn't, it probably wouldn't have fanned out 
um, as exciting as the video, but yeah, it was a really good night. Did you have a bit of interest in the Crows like during the whole recruiting process? Um, yeah, I met I met with the Crows a few times, um, but yeah, I wasn't overly confident or I didn't know what to expect going to draft night. So um, I had a dream on the Thursday night that um, I'd, I'd been drafted to the Crows, so didn't know really what to make of it at the time, but um, yeah, might have had a little bit of a hunch. You know Jordan better than the rest of us so far. How highly do you rate him as a player? Um, yeah, obviously Jordan brings that X factor to the team, and um, you know he works really hard. He's a leader, so he's definitely someone you want on your side instead of playing against. So um, he's been a massive help for me since since I sort of come into the program and um, really showed me the professionalism that's needed. And uh, yeah, he's been a massive help, and I can't wait to play with him. Has um, Don spoken too much since he's been drafted, and sort of what's he outlined for your next little while? Uh, yeah, he called me draft night, um, just sort of said welcome aboard and you know, I'm happy to have you and all that, so it was a pretty quick chat, but um, ever since then it's sort of been pretty general and you know, where I'm from and um, you know, just sort of simple what, what's going on with training and stuff like that, so um, I haven't sat down with him personally and had a chat yet, but I'm looking forward to doing so. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge through the pre-season heading into round one next year? Um, I suppose just getting into the rhythm of things. Um, we've only got a little three-week gap here and then um, you know, back home for Christmas and then moving into another environment with host family. So um, just getting used to things and I don't think we'll have any dramas in the respect of the playing group. I think you know we're all good lads and we go about our, about our footy the right way. So I don't think that'll be an issue, but I think just the environment switch and um, dealing with that homesickness. How do you describe yourself as a player? Um, yeah, sort of just you know, pretty... I don't know, hopefully pretty rock solid and try and do the team things first. Um, the main strengths being you know, my, my ball use and uh, distribution by hand and uh, my overhead marking for my height as well. So hopefully I can bring a little bit of that to the team, but help, happy to fill any gaps that are needed by, by the team and definitely put it first and yeah, take, hit the game running.